Hi everybody, welcome to the National Alliance of Research Associates Programs Screening Studies Database. So I logged into uh, the RA account for Hackensack's RA program and I went into the project that will contain uh, NARAP's current screening studies. Uh, we did the tobacco study in 2012, uh, that's just getting done now. And now we're going to move into uh, the 2013 study in cervical and breast cancer screenings. So just a real quick uh, recap of uh, the REDCAP Red interface. We have the left panel here that's going to contain all the forms uh, for, for the projects that we have in the database. And pretty much for the RAs, I'm just going to have you focus on you know, these form ones. So we click here to start a new study, and this is the only form where you can do this. You can add a new record into the study. Every other form, you're going to need to have an existing study number. So just to show you how the cervical and breast cancer screening study will go, we click into add new record. And pretty much I'm going to go through a fake enrollment. I'm just going to go through the computer system. I'm going to pretend there's a patient in front of me, even though there isn't. And so we have the 2012 study, which is still working in the database. Um, you know, NARAP's 2013 study is going to be here for cervical and breast cancer screening. So we click on that. And then it'll say we're looking for females age 21 to 74. Right? And since this one is fake data, I'm going to mark it here just so uh, when we process the data, it doesn't actually get included because this isn't real data. And then just a reminder again, uh, there's a drop down here just has some helpful references. Um, I say for RAs, the only thing you need to memorize, have an exit line if anything strange were to happen while you're in, in the room with a patient. You say if there's something to say, you know, that you practice or memorize, or you know, if, if you're really in any danger, you know, your priority number one is to be safe. So just have, you know, be prepared for things like that. And then there's another reference here that says, uh, the only patients you approach are the ones who you know, aren't asleep, they're not too sick to approach, people you can talk to. Like, don't approach anyone in police custody. Uh, clinical personnel is in the room, we don't want to approach them. Uh, the goal of most NARAP studies uh, of this nature, the screening studies, is to uh, capture participants to be in the study while they're in between phases of their care in the emergency department. So you know, while clinical personnel is in there, we don't want to approach them. Clinical personnel tell us not to approach anybody, whether they know their altered mental status or they know and that patient will be able to provide reliable answers, then you know, just don't approach them. All right? If they've already been enrolled in this study, in the cervical breast cancer screening 2013 study, they're not to be approached again. They're already accounted for. If they were in the tobacco 2012 study and now they're going to be, you're trying to include them in the 2013 study, that's allowable. We can still do that. So let's assume that we can approach. I'm just going to click there. This is what happens if they're unable to approach. Right? It just tells you, don't enter any of the data. Just come back later. If you can't begin right now, I'm going to try to come back later. But we're going to assume, you know, best case scenario, everything works out perfectly. You know, perfect participant. You know, everything goes smoothly. There's no computer issues. No, none of that. All right. Everything in purple is a reference for the RA to help you navigate through REDCap. Right? Anything in blue typically are going to be answer choices. Anything in red or green, they're typically warnings for the RA. Pay attention to that section. Right? Black italics is the big part. This is all script. This is what you're going to say to the participant. Right? Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm the emergency medicine research associate today. I'm a college student thinking about going to medical school. And I'm working here in the emergency department on a clinical research study among our patients and visitors. And then in purple, it tells you to proceed to the next field. So may I ask how old you are? Typically, they'll give you their age. So for this case, uh, for the cervical and breast uh, cancer screening study, I'm just going to pick um, a 55-year-old female. Okay. So I'm going to type in 55, and then I'm going to press the tab key, just like it says right there. Hit tab. That'll bring up the next field. If you don't hit tab, then that won't come up. You hit enter, it will kick you out of red cap. So don't hit enter, just hit tab. Right. 
and then RAs will quickly get used to that once they they get kicked out a few times. They're like, oh yeah, don't hit enter. Sort of like reinforcement. All right. So then you're gonna say now I have a few things to fill in here. Female. All right. Whatever they say, you're gonna put in. In this case, I just say refuse to respond, but you can just put in whatever. I'm actually, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna put in not Hispanic Latino. In this case, we'll approach the patient. You can approach patients and their visitors. Female patients and their visitors between 21 and 74 years of age. In this case will be spring 2013, which is the upcoming semester. Since I'm a Hackensack RA for this account, I'm going to pick Hackensack. So the hospitals in NARAP are listed here, all the hospitals that are involved in NARAP studies, whether tobacco screening or for, for the tobacco cessation or for surgical breast cancer screening. And then after that, it's going to ask for your RA ID. For us, that's typically the last four digits of our social security number. So that's mine. And then I'll hit tab. Whenever you type in any text or numbers in a text box, you're going to hit tab after it to pop up the next field. And then it's asking for my name. The only thing we need here is for you to put it in the same way every time. So no typos, no way be careful when you type this in. This is the way I type my uh, entries in when I'm in RedCap. Right, all over the case, but whatever you do, do it the same way every time so it all gets accounted for in one entry when we do the data processing. Everything will be assigned to your name. All right. Then the time slot, uh, since it's 12.40 p.m. right now, I'm going to pick this slot, the 12 to 15.59 shift, 12 to 4 p.m. essentially. Right. And then for uh, the date, you can just click today or you can type it in. Same thing for now. Click right there. Alright, and then this is important. You're, you're going to keep entering data until it says data for this form is complete. If this doesn't come up, then you're missing something and you need to figure out what it is. You need to stop enrollment, you need to step out of the room, you need to figure out what it is, whatever is going on there. But otherwise, data for this form is complete. It'll say market complete. That means go here. Mark the form complete and then move on to the next form. So that's the third button. Save and go to the next form. All right. Before I move on, there are three buttons that we want to know about here. Save record is a save button that will save whatever you're entering and then kick you out of the system, kick you out of RedCap, out of this particular study number. So you have to go back in, pick the study number again. This is typically used for the chief RAs when they're editing data. They just want to change something on one form and then get out of there. Save and continue is like a refresh button. It pretty much says save whatever you put in and then go back to the top of this form. So it won't kick you out of the study number, it'll keep you on this form. Save and go to the next form is the button we're going to typically use when you're enrolling patients, when RAs are enrolling patients. So then it says continue, right? The emergency department here is conducting a study on cancer screening in women. My task is to ask as many female patients and visitors to take part in the study. There's nothing else about you that singles you out for this survey about cancer screening tests. While you're here, may I ask you some questions for a few minutes? Yeah. So the majority of people will say, oh, yes, it's okay to continue. Okay. So when you click the save button, this study number now exists in REDCap. Right? 4008 exists. So it will have other forms assigned to it. So that's what happens here. The green and red buttons show up. That means the form exists and you can navigate between them, among them. Right, before that, before you hit a save button, nothing gets saved. So it's very important to actually hit a save button before you navigate out or before anything strange happens. If you want to save that data, you got to save. You got to hit a save button. Right, then it's going to ask you next: Are one or more visitors also in the room with the approach patient? So if there's a, other people in the room, family members or whatever, in this case. You would click there, right? Have to approach them. Then there's script lines for you know what to say to them. It's just sort of to help you get everybody involved early into this study. Right. For this case, we're just gonna say you know the patients in there by themselves, and that's it. Alright, so then they agree to continue, just select eligible, and then data for this form is complete. Same thing like the first form. Right now you're okay to move on to the next one. Mark this form complete. Yeah, normal data, nothing wrong with it. We want to the next one. 